from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Well, good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us on this Friday, August 25th. I'm Nicole Nalepa, and let's take a, top, a look at your top stories that is today. An Uber driver in Stratford is recovering after being shot several times by a passenger. Now, the suspected shooter is expected in court this morning. Stratford police say that when Anthony Van was arrested, he had three loaded handguns on him. Police say the van shot the Uber driver several times before calling police and turning himself in. At last check with police, the victim is in stable condition and Van is being held on a $1 million bond. As of now, right now, we are still working to learn the motive. And Torrington police need your help tracking down the suspect wanted in a violent assault. The person seen here knocked a man unconscious last night right outside of the smoke toke shop on East Main Street. 53-year-old Thang Nguyen was found on the sidewalk. He is currently in stable condition this morning. But if you recognize this man here in this photo from Torrington, please call police. Out of Cheshire now, where we've learned a correction officer at Cheshire Correctional Institution was brutally attacked. Last night, the officer was struck several times by an inmate while trying to break up a fight. We're told that the officer suffered significant injuries and that this is the second time this week a correction officer in our state has been attacked. If you remember on Tuesday, two officers were stabbed by an inmate at Garner Correctional Institute in Newtown. And the Hartford Police Department will be working to decertify a former police officer after they say he falsified traffic stops. Michael Fallon resigned back in March. And now the department wants to make sure that he cannot be given the same role somewhere else. This all comes after Fallon over-reported traffic stops and incorrectly reported gender and race several times. Fallon says that he did it because he didn't want to disappoint his supervisors and appear unproductive. Moving you on to New Haven now, where Yale University students will no longer be able to use e-bikes and e-scooters at all Yale housing complexes and common spaces. School officials say that they pose a fire risk, but at this point it's still unclear how they plan to enforce this ban. So if you already brought one to campus, they'll help you secure it off-site until you can take it home. And former President Donald Trump is back at his golf club in New Jersey this morning after surrendering to authorities in Georgia. He posted a $200,000 bond and then posted his mugshot on X, formerly known as Twitter. And this was his first post to the social media site since his account was reinstated. The former president and 18 others are charged with criminally conspiring to overturn Georgia's 2020 presidential election results. Those who have not yet surrendered face a deadline of noon today. And in more developing news, now in Russia, it's confirmed that an intentional explosion is what caused a plane crash that supposedly killed Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigno, uh, excuse me, Prigozhin. The jet crashed on Wednesday and rescuers found 10 bodies. One of the U.S. and Western officials say that the chief was, quote, very likely targeted and that the explosion goes along with Putin's, quote, long history of trying to silence his critics. All right, Scott, we're a little critical of the weather today, aren't we? 703, absolutely, Nicole. We've got uh, the first alert live radar up, and you can see that we do have some moderate to heavy rain coming down right now in Torrington. I'm going to show you a live eye cam coming up in just a bit uh, to detail that rain that is coming down. And it is filling in, I promise you, between the hours of about 6 and 10 that this rain would continue to traverse the state, and that's exactly what's happening. I'm going to widen out the shot here. The heaviest of the rain... It looks like we're lucking out a little bit this morning. It's going down to our south and east. It is just clipping lower Fairfield County, but they had some lightning and thunder overnight in parts of north. Look at all of this. Look at all this lightning and thunder in parts of northeast uh, Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey. Flood advisory in effect until 9 o'clock for northern New Jersey. So nothing like that here in our state. We're keeping our fingers crossed, and we hope it stays that way. Here's that rain in Torrington I just showed you on uh, first alert live radar. You can see it is pouring down there. Cars are moving along, but it is moving along at a snail's pace because of that rain. A much different scenario in Mystic this morning. You're waking up and going, where's the rain? It's gonna take a while to get to your area. Temperatures out there this morning are in the upper 60s uh, and 70s. Look at this, 74 degrees in New Haven. That's pretty much it. It's not gonna go anywhere, that temperature. Upper 60s will climb into the lower 70s, but it is gonna be a cooler day than average. And we're up anywhere from nine to 14 degrees better in parts of the state than where we were yesterday. Dew points in the mid 60s. It's kind of muggy out there this morning and it's going to be that way through the day today and pretty much through the day tomorrow, although it will start to drop tomorrow evening into Sunday. Wind speeds out there anywhere from 6 to 12, uh, 12
12 miles an hour in Bridgeport right now, 12 in New Haven. Not too bad out there. We did have one gust to 25 miles an hour along the shoreline earlier this morning. 16 miles an hour sustained wind at Brainerd. So that's a little uh, that's a little impressive. As we move through the day today, notice the icons. They stay mostly cloudy with passing showers. Now by this afternoon, it does get better. All right, and then same thing for the shoreline. It will get a little bit better as we start to march in towards the latter part of the afternoon. The heaviest of the rain is going to be pushing on out. Let's take a look at our early morning future cast. It's tomorrow's weather today. Again, we're dealing with that moderate rain that's going to be coming down in parts of the state. This is around 8 o'clock this morning. This is 9 o'clock this morning. Moderate rain, heavy rain down in Fairfield County. And then by 10 o'clock, it starts to wind on down. We're still dealing with scattered showers and possibly a thunderstorm. But by this afternoon, 4 p.m., there might even be some breaks in the action, which is some good news. So uh, again, we still can't rule out the possibility of a passing shower tonight through tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow during the day, we're hoping for some partial clearing. Let's keep our fingers crossed for Saturday. Sunday looks OK at this point as well. Forecasted highs today climb into the low uh, 70s. This is short of the normal, shy of the normal. 82 is the uh, typical daytime high for this time of year. And then your uh, overnight lows tonight dropping into the upper 60s, low 70s. Kind of uncomfortable for sleeping without AC. And then your seven day forecast includes Scattered isolated storms tomorrow. Sunday's the better of the two weekend days. Monday, not a bad day. Temperatures riding below average, though, for the foreseeable future. Tuesday, rain likely. Scattered storms on Wednesday. And then Thursday, partly to mostly sunny. That's check of your first alert forecast. Nicole, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Scott. And thank you so much for tuning in to Eyewitness News on this Friday morning. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Have a great day, everyone. Be healthy, stay positive, and hey, have a great weekend, too.